Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Senpai, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm back, you feel me, with some more uh, CJ the Champ, you feel me? I enjoyed the video yesterday. That shit had me in tears, bro, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm back, you feel me? Reacting to some more of his videos, because I, I want to, my nigga, you feel me? Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So, today, bro, we got uh, Majin Buu, the ultimate menace. You feel me? And, um, yeah, y'all already know, I'm going to the videos. All I just like button, comment, more videos, and blow up the sub button, bro, you feel me? Without further ado, bro, let's react to this shit. This nigga is a funny nigga, bro, I'm telling you. He funny as hell. Um, bro. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. And he said, damn. Oh, scramble, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro, this nigga funny as hell, bro. No cap. That nigga funny, bro. Nigga opening kind of crazy too. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Menaces. Truly terrifying creatures. The rarest breed of the anime character in today's society. Their ignorance, disrespect, and disregard for human life is just. You made one about uh, Aaron? That is why we made a round to look for these rare breeds of menaces. And Who the all on there? Let me see. Is a little peak ass. This absolute menace, absolute demon, the ultimate <laughs> Majin Buu. This thing is the ultimate personification. Majin Buu is a damn uh, like, that nigga a hoodlum, bro. This is a black Tim. Majin Buu a hoodlum, bro. I'm telling you, a damn fugu. This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying. There's a reason he's at the front. So, uh, y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck, and it is finally time to observe. That nigga, that menace. nigga Majin Buu is a fucking, bro, that nigga is a hoodlum, bro. Exhibit A. <coughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, as we know, Majin Buu has multiple various forms. And with each form, he gets even worse, worse Hell yeah. to just outright what the f***. So, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So, I present to you Exhibit A. Fat Buu. So as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now, and that's giving all the energy for Buu to wake up. So when Buu hatches out his shell and <laughs> sees him, everybody's looking like, you telling me this fat-ass Captain D's Packer star Kirby-looking motherfucker is a terror of the universe? <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him, he's waddling. So Deboer is looking at Bobby like, really, my boy, you was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over at him and he's like, boy, I know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hair. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't ugly as hell. Boo starts steaming and then he smiles at him and he swings and gouges out his eyes. Look at him, he's like, nah, 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 boo boo, shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, oh, I broke his heel. King with a kick. Look at Gohan. He like, ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man, and he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah, hell no. Time to go. So why they flying? Budin already caught up. I'm like, oh, where y'all think y'all going? The fun just getting started. <laughs> he like, oh my god, I'm about to die. Man, straight up clapped his face. He just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man comes from the top rope like the big show and sits on his ass. <laughs> his ribs, his organs, his spine. All that shit broke. Done. So then Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but Boo said, get your bum ass out my sight. Right. This nigga duh. I sit my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie, and he straight up devours this in one bite. Oh nah, bro. Nah, he's this different. Literally just turned that that man nigga man fat boo different. Damn gingerbread man, and devoured him in one bite. So then Vegeta pulls up, but <laughs> come on, y'all, it's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna. Vegeta's my favorite character in already. And there's Majin Vegeta though. So he wraps him up and traps him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da, I'm about to whip that ass. Yippee! Here we go. Boom! Straight up booted man. And he comes Nigga to different. Again and, oh, God damn! This bro just started pounding him. <laughs> hey, bro. The sounds he be having in the background are crazy. It's hell. <laughs> Can't beat him. 
Might as well just blow myself up then. Drunks, love you, kid, but to be honest with you, you were an accident. And that man Vegeta just straight up blew himself up. And he took Boo with him. <laughs> or so we thought. <laughs> that man really rebuilt himself and he is still kicking, bro. So after this, Boo just goes on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that ass up. So then he's like, all right, what I'm gonna eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started inhaling them like nigga different. And this man just really gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. Decided to spit it out and bro just laid out the entire city. Then Damn. The next one lifted him up and turned every single one of them into a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3 after you know, like screaming his ass off for like the entirety of the damn episode. Yeah, yeah bro. This nigga background noise are crazy as hell, like, bro. Goku was beating the brace off his though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Look at him, boy, 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 boy. like he is doing this with no effort. Then he throws him into an entire building. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Earth, but apparently not. Bro, chucked him into a bunch of innocent people and chucked him into a whole building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he's like, man, f*** them we're wishing back with the Dragon Balls. So then Goku powers down and he's like, all right, listen, my boy, I'm about to run out of time. So I got a proposition for you. Wait two days and there's going to be a warrior that's going to want to box you. And also stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like for real, my boy, you should <laughs> also like the Goku dips. I'm like, man, you know what? He was right. So he grabs him and punches his head off. And Damn. Him and blew him to smithereens. Damn. Like, ah, yes. <laughs> Nigga sick. Man, hip hip hooray, no more bum ass chameleon. So later on he's flying around and then he's like, Ugh. we're getting tired, man. So he stops in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around and he says, mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, hell no. Nah, <laughs> he looks at him and he's like, such a stupid ass up. <laughs> truck coon ain't got shit on me. Damn. Like, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play-Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. Man, is dead ass on creative mode at this point. Nah, he this crazy. Continues his rampage. So we see these. Man, it's been so long since so I've seen Dragon Ball Z, bro. This shit. Boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning. So then he grabs on the Boo and Boo's looking at him like. Get your bitch ass off <laughs> That nigga. So then go take that nigga different. You know this man talking shit. And it's like you fat Captain D's Big Mac number one combo bitch ass. Oh, don't think I'm done. Oh, Pillsbury dope boy looking ass. Oh, 2012. These can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking ass. But but y'all already know Boo was not having that disrespect. Hell yeah. He just started beating the brakes off his little ass. He's like, stop playing with me. Then he picks my piece like, oh yeah. Nigga, he is not a dog. And now look at you. Beat the fuck up. Man, send that boy to the shadow room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up. And they actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog. And this hunter ends up shooting the dog. So Boo's like, oh my god, what, what, what is this debauchery? Yeah. Am I feeling some type of sympathy right now? Absurd. So after this, Boo starts steaming again, and then he shoots out this cloud, and in that cloud is another Boo, but he's skinny and he's gray. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that. Bitch. So he starts. Oh my god. He beat the fuck out of him. Who shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bro just ate him. And then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A, and it's time to move on to exhibit B. That shit crazy as hell, bro. This nigga had a great form come out of him and started beating the fuck out of him. That's crazy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. Super Boo. <coughs> so as we 
can see, Boo has Oh yeah, he be on demon time. And this is where it just started to get outlandish. Yeah. The first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. No, like for like this is like actually disgusting. I'm not sure. Hello, bro. Anyways, though, he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, "All right, listen up." He said he jumped in his mouth. There's gonna be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop chop. Don't be shy. So Piccolo ends up making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on earth that you could kill for your amusement while you wait. So Boo's like, all right, bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. And he straight up deletes the entire human population. Damn. So after he's done, he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. Just give us one hour. That's all we need. And Fred's like, an hour? Hell no. <laughs> so then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared or you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell soccer Gohan cut you got going on right now. Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. Just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. <laughs> so then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? <laughs> he turns her into step a on literal it. egg. Then he said, I like my scramble. <laughs> <laughs> Egg and stomped her like a roach in front of her son. Oh my god. So about half the time passes now, and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this wait. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. But like, ah, 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 ah. I'm done with this. If I don't get this spade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Go Tank. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas. I right, bet then. So they start to do the fashion dance, but Boo blitzes Trunks and socks. Damn. So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack a that's transforming, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fuse, Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. Oh yeah, bro. Boo was just bullying him again. Bro, yeah, I'm about to say, come on, boy. He ain't had no chance. When he was a fat boo, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Look at man's bro. He's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, ha-ha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So bruh just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, chocolate, chocolate. Hey, bro. He crazy, bro. This man just turned the entire cast into chocolate. Bro straight up devoured their souls. So later on when he's fighting go tanks again, they end up unfusing. So bro just fell asleep. Bro said it ain't even worth it at this point. So then ultimate <laughs> Gohan pulls up. And, and this man wanted all the smoke. Bro straight up stared homie down and said, I'm gonna kill you. Niggas had a stare so down. Laying the <clears throat> hands on him. Bro was looking like he was fighting Cell again. But of course it didn't last long. Man straight up absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo. And Gohan literally sat there and watched him do it. So then after this, it was raps, bro. He was beating the brakes off of Gohan. <laughs> Tien shows up. Come on, bro. Tien, so trash. Take this seriously. Tien, trash, bro. Tien? Yeah, bro, get your ass out of here. <laughs> ended up absorbing Gohan, too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn rag dolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. And man, oh man. This was a undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking him. Like, uh, like it wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. And dear God. This one he went to Kid. This one he went to Kid Boo. So without further ado. Yup. Kid Boo is a fucking menace, bro. Kid Boo a menace, bro. 
we have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy. Make I have a lot. Exhibit this was probably like one of the like best G fights in like uh so as we can see, in Dragon Ball Z, but I have a lot, bro. Really like big the biggest, like the best beef in my opinion, bro. Losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate Black Air Force. No, no, no. Let me not even say that. The ultimate menace, kid. Boo. I'm telling you. Vegeta's like, huh, look, Kakarot, the little got smaller, and they hella confident right now. While this is happening, Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. Bro is like, yo, this is the dude that killed all of the Kai's. West Kai, gone. North Damn. Kai, gone. South Kai, gobbled up. Grand Supreme Kai, dead. You want to know why I became Supreme Kai? Because everybody else is dead. So stop acting like this sweet. So Boo starts admiring the scenery. So Bro's like, hmm. Time to assert my dominance. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Then right after he's done, he shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that again, nigga. I wish you would. <laughs> he turns around and looks at him. He's like, I then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just smiles. Bro said, bye bye. <laughs> this man really just showed up, blew up the planet for no reason at all, and didn't even say a word. You know, villains always be saying, hmm, I'm gonna destroy Earth. Freeza, Finn. Well, I mean, he did do it in Resurrection Method, but he did it like a. Cell, I'm gonna blow up the earth and there's nothing you can do. Fair. Mm. Boo! Bro didn't even say a word. He just did it. I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, me, bro, that nigga's a menace, bro. Earth. So after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. He's sick. Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he submitted himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a of dead guys. I beg your pardon? He went to go get more smoke from the dead. He's sick. And I'm sure they like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, F that rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes off of everybody. Oh my God, bro, he killed him with a three-piece combo, then started suplexing him with his <laughs> so Now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But well, then he senses Goku and Vegeta again, and he's like, oh, time to go. Like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace, and you see your outcome trying to get some more smoke. Like, Nah, that's crazy. That's, that's wild. Nah, that is crazy, bro. My fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this he's man whooping starts him. emoting, laughing, and dancing while he's fighting. <laughs> oh, he's not even four words, but he's still talking. Shit. <laughs> you bitch, nigga. But, ladies and gentlemen, what we really have to get he's to crazy is hell, the bro. absolute I'm telling you. absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Wait, good. God, he was pummeling this He was whooping both of them for real, but. Looks like I'm gonna have to make your headline more f***ed up than it already is. So Vegeta just ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up, so Boo's like, hmm, so you want to be a black Air Force, huh? All right, then consider this initiation. So Bra ends up indenting his foot in his spine. Then he said, <laughs> Muno, Muno, and started choking the life out of <laughs> She wrote for Vegeta. This nigga though. So then Mr. Satan wanted some smoke, but come on, bro. Hit him in his nose. Broke his little nose. So then Fat Boo pulls up. So Kid Boo like, hmm, booga booga booga. If it isn't the big ass bubblegum shrimp looking motherfucker. So 
Remember, we just started welling on Fat Boo. Bro is welling on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Look at him. Bro decided to take a whole timeout on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro, say, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, lunch, and Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn menace. The thing is, he started to push it back. But the plot kicked in, and the ultimate menace was slain. Yeah, this plot, why they beat, why they beat Kid Buu for real? That is why that nigga Kid Buu is a menace, bro. Some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, faded his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to follow Nah, you bro, he is I'll different, bro. Follow up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And, uh, I'm out of here. He different, bro. Hey, that song was too damn good. This nigga really went all the way to heaven, bro, to fight them niggas, bro. That nigga crazy as hell, but um, that was a uh, Majin Buu, the ultimate menace. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe did hit that thumbs up. Comment my video is I'm below that sub button, bro. You feel me? I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one. Simple out.